It has been entered. She says, one conversation. She says, if an engagement has been entered into without a full understanding of the character of the woman whom you intended to unite, do not think that engagement makes it positive necessity for you to take upon yourself the marriage vow and make yourselves for life to one whom you cannot love and respect. Be very careful how you enter into conditional engagements, but better, far better, break the engagement before marriage than separate afterward as many do. Is marriage on the rise or the downfall? Why do you think you're on the downfall? Why? Are we tangible? Are we tangible people? Are we tangible? Do, you, do we know what tangible means? What does tangible mean? Like we have to see. All right. So, are we happy today and then miserable tomorrow? So, is it possible that we can love this person for a year and then after a year you just decide, hmm, this ain't the one you don't want to be with anymore? So, if you're engaged, what is that all I tell you to do? And you you know that you can't love and respect. You you can't love and respect this person, right? And we know that marriage is for a lifetime, right? So if you don't see yourself loving and respecting this person for a lifetime, should you marry this person? Why? Because on day 24 of the marriage, you're gonna be like, mm, this ain't it. And guess what you're gonna say? I do. There's also a, a quote that I like from her. She says, There are that, well, there are many that have made it, but are not matched. She says the she says the the marriage mental there is woe's wickedness that lies hidden under the marriage mental. So heaven she says heaven is burdened with the woes and the wickedness that lie hidden under the marriage mental. How many people are out there that are praying, Lord, just let my husband die in his sleep? <laughs> Y'all, no, I'm, I'm being very honest with you because the parents are not going to tell you. How many men out there are happy? Lord, just let her die in her sleep. <laughs> Jesus, if you just let him go away in his sleep tonight, I would be so happy. Because they're what? I'm, you, let, me, let me be very honest with y'all. I know y'all parents are not going to tell you. Let me tell y'all. Brother Ryan, am I lying? Robin, am I lying? And I'm not about men and women who are out there that wish they husband and their wife would just pass away in this year. They just tired. Just tired of being married to this person. And they wish this person would just pass away in this week. Because when you don't consult God, what do you get? You get crumbs. You get, you get, you get things that you push, you piece together yourself when you don't consult God. But when you consult God, God give you that gorilla snot glue. He give you the super glue. They don't matter how far you're going, y'all gonna be together. You're gonna make it work. You don't like her today, but you don't love her tonight when y'all pray and get down on one knees. I'm telling you, women, if you ever be a man, y'all got a problem. And you say, let's take it to the Lord in prayer, or let's, get, let's take it to the Lord in prayer. Um, ask the Lord to give you some, ask, ask to give you some care eyes. You know, you know the bottom of care eyes? You know the, if you never liked him before, ask the Lord to give you a bottle of clear eyes and put it on your eyes so that you can see properly. Because if a man tells you, let's pray, that means he got who? Jesus. Jesus. And as long as you got King Jesus, well, you don't need nobody else. Amen. I'm telling you, you meet a man and he tell you, that ain't my problem. You might want to let that one go. If you tell him, you know, I ended up coming, I, I'm pregnant, and he tell you, who is up? Who is it for? You might want to just let that one go. Don't mind, come on. Let And tell him, don't let the door hit you where a good Lord's fit you. I'm telling you, if you got a woman, man, that when you come with a problem, she tell you, why do you keep coming and eat with these problems? Guess what she's gonna do when y'all married and you got a problem? Well, guess what she's gonna do when your mama died and you come crying to the house? If you don't go find something to do, your mama just go find something else to do. Your, your mom just passed away. 
Go and find you something to do. Can you can you go call somebody else? I'm not available right now. You might just want to let that one go. All right. I'm being very honest with you because these are the things I wish people would have told me before I went to college and then met some some ragamuffins. The, the ones that come around your way and when you drive and they're like, hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs>
into a relationship? Does that sound does that sound like it's good advice? Very Alright. I'm gonna tell y'all another story in a minute. Alright, she says, don't be squeezed into the world's mold. We are commanded to crucify the flesh with the affections of lust. With the affections and lust. How shall we do it? Shall we inflict pain on the body? No, but put to death the temptation to sin. To corrupt the to corrupt God is to be expelled. Every thought is to be brought into captivity to Jesus Christ. The love of God must reign supreme. Christ must occupy an undivided throne. Our bodies are to be regarded as his person purchased possession, and the members of the body are to become the instruments of righteousness. Amen. So I need y'all to turn around and play two more times. Blake, turn around and get each other. Blake, two more times. Like, Alright, the parents are all over here. Right? So it's just me and y'all. We not worry about the people in the back. It's just you and I. 